Well, welcome to week four of Friday Night Lights. Nick Cannon is also alongside Curtis Quilly. You know, a lot of teams are wrapping up non-district play tonight, but for others, it's their second week in league play. District 12 6A rocking and rolling. It's week two in there. With it being a nine-team district, every week is a huge game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Curtis. Let's go ahead and take you out to our game of the week. Two and one Coppers Coach going off against one and two Colleen Bulldogs. We're coming off a tough loss to Belton last week. This one was close as Colleen led 20 to 14 at the break. Ruse breaking open the third. James Terry under pressure. Rolls to his right and finds Nate Camper. Turns up the field. He's in for the touchdown. Colleen on top 28 14. Still in the third. Kadarius Marshall gets the handoff. Breaks a few tackles. Going to turn on the Jets. And nobody is going to catch him. Ruse would extend the lead at that point. And then last play of the third quarter, Easton Simpson. He has sacked. What a monster sack right what there by the Ruse defense. Patty Tundilly grabs the football, flipped it ahead to Demaria Brown, takes it in for the defensive touchdown, 41-14 at that point. And how about this, Colleen? They go on to win 48-14. Wow. What a win. Jessica Mori, I tell you what. She's had a front row seat all night at this game. She joins us live with Colleen with that big old win for the Roos. Jess? Thanks, guys. Well, I've got quite the crowd here for our game of the week. And we've got a game of the week champion, and it is the Colleen Roos. They get our trophy. Here you go. Yeah! I brought it down for I brought it down to the field with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter and they were so excited. We have trainers, cheerleaders, everyone trying to take pictures with it. So they're super excited to win this game. I've got clean head coach Neil Searcy with me, coach. You guys it was a close game at half and then you yeah. guys busted open the third quarter. What did you tell your guys at half? Well, I just told them we gotta settle down and stop making mistakes and come out and play the second half like you know, like we know we can and, and you know, I'm so proud of my guys the way they stepped up, they answered the bell the second half and came out and played lights out all over the field. So it was a great win for us tonight. How big is it for you guys to get this district win? It was huge. We have to, you know, you, we, no one wanted to fall 0-2 in this district. You know, we're 1-1, one and, one and and we're getting ready for the next one. We're going to enjoy this one, but we're going to get ready for Harker Heights next week. And, you know, uh, this is not the end goal. You know, we're trying to get to that third season in the playoffs, and, and we took a step towards that tonight, and hopefully we can take one next week. Awesome. And we've got Kadarius Marshall here. Kadarius, uh, just how excited are you for this win right now? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I just had, My old line just had faith in me when I got the ball, and, I just trusted them to, that they were going to block and open up the hole for me. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the win. 48 14. The lead against the game of the week. I mean, I don't know. Bye, guys. See you guys later. <laughs> Is Jessica in there anywhere?